Yo, hello, it's Wobikos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to have 3D floating objects. Let's begin. First thing you will want to do is add 3D camera tracker. Uh, make sure your clip isn't edited or synced or anything like that. Have it as smooth as possible so it doesn't fail. Sometimes it might just fail anyway, so you might have to analyze a different frame or just completely switch out the clip. So as you can see, it worked just fine. This looks like a really good point to track, so let's right click and let's press create null and camera. Alright, now let's go out of there go here and right click here and make a new solid layers and on here we will need to add element now let's go to scene setup in this video i will just show you how to make a floating cars so and the link will be in the description if the link doesn't work then you just need to find some free cars and make sure it has a dot obj at the ending so i think it's right here you have to press use auto normals when it pops up you have to press normalize size this can still be scaled up so i want to make it like 400 all right this is pretty good now you can see it has no texture so we can actually open up right here and we can individually add some new textures what i recommend is going to presets physical and here we can find for example plastic mate and we can add the first material we can choose metal diffuse and add it to the material 05 to make that paint we can add paint red to material 01 another plastic mate to material 02 and another plastic mate to this material and green light to this one i might not even do anything and we can press ok now we will have this car right here and what we need to go now is to group one and now what we can do is make the car look a little bit more realistic and we can do that by first adding brightness and contrast and you can make the contrast way higher i suggest like 50 somewhere instantly looks way better now we can add deep glow if you don't have deep glow that's fine you can add some other glows i like deep glow set to 0.4 deep glow is the most realistic one as well and now we need to add s flicker this is not a needed one but i think it gives that lively look and let's go to group one now and go to particle replicator now here you will want to set your particle count i don't know what you would like but i suggest for cars not that many so maybe like two here and now let's go to replicator effects scatter and here we can just scatter this out a little more so you can scatter this to like whatever you want deck scatter also you can use the other scatters as well but i personally find that just these are the ones that you should be using the most and scatter them until they're like really far away maybe to make this one like over like 50 this one you can make like i don't know 100 now they're gonna be pretty far away and we can use the position to position them so they can be wherever you want them maybe we can lower the scatter just do this however what we can do now is go to particle look and go to particle rotation and go to this rotation right here we can keyframe it and here we can just really mess around maybe set it like this like somewhere like here minus 51 and we can go to the ending of our clip and here we can make it spin like this sort of give that a nice spin we can also press on this button to make their spin look more realistic as well more blurry and now as you can see they're not really getting smaller when the camera is going out so if this happens for you you can just go to the particle look you can go to particle look particle size and keyframe the size right here and now go to the start and make the size to what looks more realistic i'd say probably like, like 7.9 maybe here and we can press u and we'll have our keyframes and we can just select them all and press f9 that should probably do it and if you want you can even add more cars and you can change their colors so what i would do if you want to add more cars go to the 3d camera checker and track null press ctrl c press on black solid and press ctrl v and then we'll duplicate these make another solid and here you also need to add elements and go to scene setup import your car model click on use all normals okay normalize size make this like again 400 probably i don't know how big your clip is or where it zooms out for you this is just for me you can go here and you can really mess around here you can go to the presets and just start adding stuff i want to make this car for example blue so i can go to plastic made put this to dark metal diffused on this one i can put like for example green light here but then i can press on the green light go to color and here i can just set it to blue and you will have a blue car and you can also plastic made to this one you can add another plastic made to this this one and that should be good you can go out of there and you will have another car and you can go back to your first cars and now let's go and select these and we can copy and paste these settings that we have from here so i'll copy and paste brightness and contrast to right here i'll copy and paste the deep close settings these can be exactly the same let's put it on top and we can also add s flicker if you want and here you can do the same thing make the particle count like two go to replicator effects scatter and yeah just scatter this wherever you want like 50 
50. I don't know. This one you can make uh, like a hundred. Another thing you can do is set a different random seat because you can see it. They're the same spot. You could have also done this for the other one. So you could just like mess around with this one just until you find a spot where it looks cool and where they like spread out. I think this might be a cool spot so we can lower the scare. This is a bit of a big scare. Maybe make it like 60. Position it somewhere like here. Now we can go to particle look, particle size. You can keyframe it. Put it to the start and go here. And it zooms out. Make these like 7.9. And we can go to particle rotation. We can start the rotation like a little bit differently here. Maybe like right this. And go to the ending. Make the particle rotation like minus something. This will be pretty cool. And now we can press U. Select all the keyframes. Press F9. Press on this button to make it more realistic. And you will have made other cars. Another thing I suggest to make this even more realistic is to roto brush yeet out. If you don't know how to roto brush, we have a tutorial on that. But the basic understanding would be that you could copy and paste this layer and delete the 3D camera tracker. Put this layer on top of the car layers. Now I would pre-compose this layer. Maybe call it something like roto. And then go in here. Double click on this as well. Go to the roto brush and just start to roto brush yeet out. Make some adjustments. Try to have a pretty good roto brush. Alright, so I'm done roto brushing and I also would recommend adding Gaussian blur and making it free and repeat edge pixels to make the road brush look smoother. But here we go. If you don't like the car's positions, again, you can go back to the cars and just change around these settings. You can even use these scatter options. They will move them as well. So I could set this, for example, like 30. This one, maybe you lower the cars a bit down. Also, just mess around a lot with the random seeds. And you can do this not just with cars. You can do this with anything else. You can do this with like UFOs. I did it with Lego characters. So you can do it with basically anything. And if you want to make this clip look even cooler, you can press Control to buy and you can add some effects from our Halloween pack from our editing visuals website, which helps you elevate your editing potential. With the pack, you can type Halloween and you can just pick out any of these effects. For example, Halloween effect 12, one of my easily favorite effects, completely makes the clip look like bonkers and just very cool. Love this look. Another one you can add is like Halloween effect 11, gives that crazy inverted look. Uh, we have another pack called TV glitch overlay pack V2. So you can add effects such as TV glitch effect 3, super cool effect. You would just have to adjust the size. Another cool TV glitch effect four for example is a really cool effect i love to use this effect in a lot of my videos and there are plenty more the link to our website is in the description and that's basically it remember you can do this to any 3d object i recommend searching up on google free 3d objects and just finding them in the file name it has to be dot obj at the end if you want to work on after effects and that's about it make sure to try some different settings than i did here make them scare maybe a little bit more all right have a fun and productive day See ya.